on Kunix. Plays almost anything. He is going to call with his 8-5. Darren with a five deuce. Also content to see a flop. But look at this flop. Five, four, three. They both have fives. Both players are flop top pair. Sean's got the best kicker, but Darren has the open end straight. Right there you see James Calderero from Venice, Florida. A non-professional player is the chip leader. And he's going to start at 10,000. Lines of 30 and 60, Mike. Yep, this is going to be fun to watch. These three guys play. They don't sit back waiting for aces and kings, Vince. That's for sure. All right. It's on Darren. And he's got an A6. Yep, he's going to raise it on the button. Makes it 125,000 to go. James Calderero going to call with a 9-8. Uh, Sean Cooney's got two fours in the big blind. He's going to call also. So three-way action here in our three-handed game. The flop comes 8-8-6. Eight, eight, what a flop for James Calderero as he has flopped three eights. He has checked, and so is Sean checking. Well, Darren could get in trouble here. He's got eights and sixes with top kicker. And he is reaching for chips. He is going to make a bet. Like 160,000. And the Floridian now with a monster just calling. He just calls with three eights. And look who calls behind him with two fours, Sean Kunix. So we still have three-way action. Three of diamonds, irrelevant card. Colorado going to try to trap again. Sean checks. Well, They all check. Nobody falling into traps this time. So check, check, check. A seven comes off. Again, James checks with three eights. And again, it goes check, check. Well, James a little embarrassed. He never took any lead on this hand with the three eights. Yeah. I think he'd have won a bet on the river, perhaps, had he made a wager. Yeah, Darren was on to him, though. He slowed down properly. And right there, James Calderero <laughs> from Venice, Florida. Going to take the pot, but not really happy to us. Well, James has two WPT no, know, caches. He also finished 13th in the 2009 well main yeah, event at the World Series of Poker where he cashed in 633,000. So the guy's been at big time poker events before. He knows what he's doing. The chip leader has folded and now Sean Kunix with queen five has called. Now Darren Elias has picked up a pair of eights. Yep, got the two snowmen. And he is going to three bet this. He's going to make the raise, makes it 200,000. And Sean likes his queen five of hearts, but he's going to make this call. So action starting fast again. Here we go, eight versus queen five. And the flop comes up a queen, just like that. Great for Sean. Sean out in front with two queens. And he's gonna check. Darren checks behind. What a check there with two eights by Darren. Nine on the turn. And it's a nine of hearts. Sean has a flush draw as well as four hearts. And again, it goes check, check. check, check. Darren Elias just seems to know when not to get involved. Now the six of hearts comes off, giving Sean a flush. Just incredible the feel that Darren Elias has. And Sean is going to come out of the woodwork and finally bet it. 250000 Now Darren's certainly going to pay this off because it wasn't bet on the flop or the turn. So he's going to get Sean a flush. So another daring pre-flop raise call by Sean Kunix pays off. Sean Kunix, 39 years old, out of Columbus, Ohio. A family man, it's the second WPT final table. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come to WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT36 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Right there's the Royal Flush Girl Social Bar. And look at this, Will the Thrill enjoying that moment. Well, Vince, he's enjoying it because he knows with Daniel Buzz gone, going out in fourth place, he's once again the leader of the WPT Player of the Year going into the final event, the WPT Championship. All right, back to the table. Action on Sean. He's got a 5-3 of spades, and he's going to raise to 150. Darren behind him with ace three. will make this call. James Calderero, our chip leader, also going to call with an ace four. Vince, I never thought I would say it, but Sean Kunix makes Gus Hansen and Phil Ivey look like tight players. <laughs> he does. He plays loose. 
Pop has five deuce deuce. Sean has flopped the best hand. He's got fives up. Both the other two players have a wheel draw, a straight draw. They both check into Sean. And Sean, who raised before the flop, gonna make a continuation bet with the fives. Looks like 275,000. Well, Darren with the gut shot straight draw. Looks like he's gonna make the call here, Vince. He is gonna speculate. And indeed he is. And James also has a gut shot wheel draw, but he's gonna give his up and let these two guys fight it out. Into the turn. And it is a queen of clubs, no help to either player. Sean's gonna slow down. They both check. And, and a four oh, comes up. Oh my. This gives Darren a wheel. There was a miracle card on the river, and this could hurt. Oh, Darren first. He's gonna make a bet. 625. Well, it's a healthy bet, too. As you said, 625,000. And the way this hand was played, Vince, it'd be tough for Sean to get away from this two fives. He knows his opponent called on the flop. Now, what did he have? Did he have a straight draw? Did he have a flush draw? Would he bet two fours on the river? Unlikely. He would just check it down. I call. Sean, says call. Sean has made the call, and Darren's going to show him the straight and take down the pot. And a nice pot it is. Nice suck out again. Wow. What a sick suck out again. Sean is muttering to himself. I love my call, though. He says he gets sucked out on, but had he bet on the turn, he'd have won that pot instead of lost. <laughs> Might want to rethink that great call, though. <laughs> the table we go. Now, there you see our two chip leaders, Darren Elias. In first place, James Calderero in second place. And right now, Sean Kunick's on the short stack. He came to this final table as the big chip leader. He is now in third place. All right, Darren Elias, the 25-year-old from New Jersey. As ace queen, he's going to make it 125. Calderero out. Oh, that's win or lose tonight. you got to be impressed with Darren Elias' play, I can tell you that. Sean now with a jack nine of hearts. He is on the short stack now. It's going to cost him 125 to make the call, but he's raising to a half a million here. Oh boy, this guy mixes up his game. I got a feeling it's not going to work here. Well, Come on. Come on. And yes. All in. Yes. Snap call by Sean Kunix. And he proudly displays the jack nine. Good luck, Sean. You can see Thank you. a little bit shocked that the guy was so anxious to get his money in with that hand. I think Sean felt he was caught committed. He steals the hand out. Right. He's going to go with it. And this guy was the chip leader for so long, and right now he is in trouble. So the Buckeye needs help here. here go Bucks! Jack Nine against Ace Queen. Here we go. And it comes seven, seven deuce with two hearts. Seven. That helps. So there you see, Sean has flopped a flush draw. Yeah, Sean has a shot. Well, he can take the lead with a jack or a nine. He'll win the pot if a heart comes off. Fourth Street is no, not good for Sean. It's a six, no heart. So Darren Elias out in front of the ace high holds up. He'll be the big chip leader playing heads up for the title. Can Sean Kunix catch a heart, a jack, or a nine? Here we go. Everybody on their feet. Here's the river card. The three of yes! Sean yes! Kunix is out drawn. Yeah, yeah baby. Is on the river. He made Get the, the box. push to win the pot. <laughs> Go Woo! Bucks, he says. And I can tell you, they're thrilled in Columbus, Ohio. Wow, right the Buckeyes can suck out too, baby. <laughs> oh. Notice he was just using the left arm nice to do his shouting Thank and cheering you. with because he's broken his right collarbone. <laughs> so he can't raise the right arm up, but he can sure use it to push chips in the pot. We've seen that. There he gambled Four, with the jack five. nine, and it paid off he for him. He's delirious. He is happy. Well That's done. Fun. Everybody's got chips to play with. It'll be interesting to see how this one comes out. James Calderero is the chip leader. He's going to fold that hand. Well, he knows these two guys like to clash about every pot, so why not just sit back and let them battle it out for a while? Sean Kunix plays almost anything. He is going to call with his 8 5. Darren with a five deuce, also content to see a flop. But look at this flop, five, four, three. They both have fives. Both players are flop top pair. Sean's got the best kicker, but Darren has the open end straight throw. Sean has checked, and Darren is going to bet this. 80,000. Sean makes the call. 
Street is a five. Look at that. They both got sets. Sean's going to check it. Now this could spell big, big trouble for Darren Elias here. Any card that doesn't give him a straight or pair of the board comes off of there, he's going to lose a lot of money with these three fives. Darren plunging away again, 225 and a quick call. Sean very anxious to get his money in there, of course. Why wouldn't you with three fives? What is the river card? A queen of diamonds. Both players have three fives. But Sean has him out kicked, as we say. Sean is going to trap again with the check. Call. Look at this. Well, he never took a bet with the three fives, never yet he's going to win the pot because he has his opponent out kicked. Darren can't believe this pot was ever raised hell. somewhere along the way. But <laughs> nevertheless, Sean yeah, Kinnick, baby, the businessman from Ohio, is back. I would say so, back in a big way. With that hand, Sean Kunix is once again our chip leader. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come to WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT36 and we'll match your first deposit, dollar for dollar. The ones to watch are tough young players. These guys do great on the live streaming and that could be the future of the poker world where you actually get to watch the whole tournament live as it takes place and see the cards as these players are playing them. Well, it is fun and right now we have a great battle going on here. At the best bet, Sean Kunix is now the chip leader again. Sean has folded. Darren Elias picks up ace king of clubs, big slick. And he's going to pop it to 150. And Calderero with a pair of tens. Well, this is a huge hand in a three handed poker game as well. So, Vince, it's not going to shock me to see all the dough go in right here, right now. Well, Calderero has raised. Makes it 375 to go. Small one. Yeah, cool. Push all in, and of course it's being called. And the classic race situation, the two over cards versus the under pair, happens all the time in poker tournaments. Both these guys are nodding their heads. And they know one of them is going to get lucky and win this pot. The other is going to take a serious blow. Well, Darren Elias had the chip lead just a while back. Now his tournament life is on the line. If he doesn't get lucky and catch something here, he'll be out in third place. From the first three, and that is a good one for Calderero. Nothing hitting for Darren Elias with his ace king. It was 9 5 deuce. Calderero still out in front. Here comes the turn. Well, a seven comes off, so we are down to the river. Darren Elias must catch an ace or a king, or it's tapioca pudding for him. Yeah, he would be our third place finisher. And the 25 year old Spike, a right it card. Yeah! No, not to be. Yeah! It's a six of clubs. So the young whiz kid, Darren Elias, 25 year old, tough, tough pro of Hong Kong, New Jersey. He's sort of strong right now, man, but he is out in third place. A good sport. This wasn't meant to be, I guess, for him tonight. He'll take home 147,000. He has respect already by the entire poker world. But right now, Darren Elias out in third place. Over to talk to Matt Savage. Darren, a couple tough beats there at the end. Give me your thoughts. Well, it's unfortunate. Uh, his last hands kind of played themselves, so it's part of the game, but it was hurt. All right, I'm sure we'll see you again. Good Thank job. You. All right, back to you, Marianella. Vince, I'll tell you one thing. These guys have both shown me a lot of heart at this final table. They're not afraid to bet. Three bad hands, bluff on hands. Most amateurs, you think, have to have cards before they do any bet. Not these guys. What's this do together? I like your style. Now they're going for the drink. It looks like a point with a Mexican drink of cold tequila. Well, there you go, Vince. Maybe that's the answer. That's what we missed out on this tournament. We got broke. We didn't have the shots. <laughs> My kind of poker players, these guys. You know, another thing about these guys is that they're two veterans at the table. They've got a 46-year-old and you've got a 39-year-old playing against each other. Used to be a young man's game. Vince, it's nice to see the young whippersnappers finally missing out on a final table. Let the middle-aged guys go at it once. All right, right now, Calderero with an ace-five of spades has raised to 180. And Sean Kunitz 
Nice job, Jay. Queen nine says, I'm content to fold. Take that pot. We might be showing a lot of heads. Yeah. I mean, you now, let's, let's just dance. <laughs> let's have fun. Absolutely. That's what I like to do That's anyway. Fun. Yep. <laughs> they look like they're having fun, and they're going after big bucks here. Why wouldn't they be having fun? They're playing heads up for a title out here on the World Poker Tour. By this time with the button, Sean has a 10 8 of hearts. And he will raise, makes it 155 to go. James with a jack nine with a re raise. He's got a three bet it here with just a jack nine and a quick call by Sean. I call. So obviously the tequila is taking effect. <laughs> Both men gambling up here. Yeah. Flop uh, comes ace jack four with two hearts. James has got the best hand with two jacks. And he's going to bet at 350. But Sean has the flush draw. Yeah. I think when you hit a flush draw, you just have to raise it here. You don't have to worry about hitting the heart if your man goes away. Well, that's what he's going to try to do. He makes it a million dollars to go. And I'll tell you, if you're sitting in James' seat, you just can't stand the heat with just two jacks here. I think your opponent's got an ace in this situation. Whoa. He gives it up. You are correct. Nice raise by Sean Cooney to take down that pot. Good end. I like the way he played that one. Oh, that Sparky. is a bluffer's laugh, of course. Sparky. Kind of like, like a hyena. <laughs> oh, yeah? My wife calls me Sparky, like Chevy Chase. His wife calls him Sparky. Now, Vince, if he wins this tournament, she's going to call him Mr. Sparky. <laughs> All right, the blinds are going up to 40 and 80,000 at this point. Action on the guy from Venice, Florida, James El Guerrero. Got a pair of fours, and he will raise, makes it 240 to go. And Sean Kunix with a decent hand, King Ten of Spade, playing heads up. He is certainly going to make the call to see a flop. And he does so. So fours up against King Ten. And the first three cards, there's a 10 on the flop. 10, 8, 5. They both check, though. Three of hearts on the turn. And finally, Sean. Can't take it anymore. He's got top pair. And he's getting betting chips out. It looks like a 225 bet. 225,000. Calderero with just a pair of fours. And essentially, all it can beat is a bluff right now. He's going to call him with the two fours. And the car's line must catch a four to have the best hand. And he does. Oh, wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, but even though it is a four, there's three hearts and a three card possible straight out there. Oh, and Sean. The victim is going to have to act first, and he's getting betting chips out again. 275. Yeah, look at this. James, who's made three fours Ooh, on the it? river. Apparently not afraid of the flush of the hearts straight. Helped he's raising it Good here. Good job. Those hearts helped you, buddy. <laughs> wow. That's a good lay down. Didn't even think about it. That top pair. That's just a beautiful lay down. Well, a daring raise, in my opinion, there with a possible flush of straight out there. What are you going to get called with? It doesn't beat you. They are splashing around, and right now, James Calderero in the heads of battle. Twice as much as Sean. 6.3 up against 3.2. Line still 40 and 80. Back down to the felt we go. Action on Sean. And this time, he's got a real solid one. Ace, queen. He'll be going nowhere with this hand. And he's going to make it 2.15 to go. James with just a 6 3 of spades can afford to speculate, and he does. He's queen, 6-3. Flop comes 7-4, deuce. Different suits. James has the gut shot straight draw, but checks. Yeah, Sean now with nothing really hitting there. But a continuation bet. A solid 250. Look at this. James just calling with the gut shot straight draw. I can see check raising here. I'm not sure about the call. Now King comes off. Helps neither player. Again, Calderero is going to check. Sean Cunix, you got to just give this guy respect for his heart in the game. And he sure has nothing. Do. He just keeps okay, punching okay. away, and it's going to work again. Damn. Good that was the hand, baby. That was that the one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I was, I was trying hard. He gave me a turn card. Really? Oh, yeah. There's no flush draw out there, though. Oh, oh now there is, you saying. <laughs> These guys play fearless poker. These guys don't have to hit hands. They bet nevertheless. On to the next one. James this time with a nothing three deuce of clubs. Just calling. And the 
lines are going up to 50 and 100,000. Well, stop the presses. Finally, a hand nobody raised. No raise. Sean happy to see a free flop here with his king deuce offsuit. And what a flop it is for him as he flops kings and deuces. And he's going to try to trap. He checks, but James not going to fall into the trap. He checks as well. Five of hearts on the turn. Uh, three hearts out there now. Neither player has a heart. Sean with his two pair now has to bet. 175,000. Look at this, a daring call by James here. He doesn't have a heart, he's only got bottom pair here. And the heart comes off, the ace of hearts comes off. Sean is gonna check. Whoa, that is showing some style right there. The insta bet right there when the fourth heart came off. He's just hoping his opponent doesn't have a heart. That's the case. And now it's tough to call with two pair events. 375, he's bet into Sean and it's See, no work. tanking, no tanking. You suck down. You wanna see it? Yeah. Oh, uh oh, don't uh -oh. Want to look. oh. Oh boy. Well, there you see it. I like it. With the salt and the pepper out. in the nice shaker, shot. mix it all around, ah. put it into the cut. That's exactly what no. Calderero just did. He showed nice him the bluff. Oh, yeah. Great action here in Jacksonville. We're coming back for more on the World Poker Tour. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Simply click the sign up link in the upper right hand corner. Sign up with bonus code YT36 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. Sean Kunix from Columbus, Ohio, his second WPT final table. He's got 7-4. He's made the call. Now James with a king seven. He says, okay, let's go. Yeah, why not? Hey, buddy's calling and stuff like that. Let's try something different again. He might hit a pair of fours or something. The thought comes up, Jack, 6-4. How was that for forecasting? Said he might make a pair of fours. That's exactly what he's done. They're both checking a 10 on the turn. This time, James is going to bet 150 and has been quickly called by the fours. And the nine comes off and it goes King check, I, check. Players, and two fours are going to win this pot. I told you had a pair of fours. <laughs> <laughs> and James all excited about that. <laughs> hey, I had a seven kicker. Girl social bar, will the thrill out there? Caldo, come on, man! Hey, I don't know what's taking so long. He won't, he won't somebody. gamble. Oh boy, those might be the most false words ever said on the World Sean Poker Tour. The Sean Kunick won't gamble. <laughs> and a watch. And a watch. He wants to sign. Will the thrill just pleased with his Give week, made some home. money, retook mm -hmm. the lead for the WPT Player of the Year point standing. So. He's happy, especially happy sitting among the Royal Flush Girls. How can you blame him? He's enjoying himself. Back to the action we go. Calderero with a pair of threes. Raises to 275. And Sean will go away. Eyebrow again. <laughs> that eyebrow twitched. It's the same like hand a... with the eyebrow the last time. <laughs> You're going to see. I'll get him. Both guys. Feeling the effects James. of the Mexican drink. You're a good man, the James. Yes, I before. am. That's part of my problem, though. But me too. Very talking a bunch. <laughs> and here we go. Tank Sean with the the six four of hearts moves it to two hundred. Four hundred. Calvary making it four hundred with an ace nine and a quick call by yeah, Sean. That's risky. So here we go. A big pot brewing right now. Son Great right. hundred thousand in there. Me and James about to get in a pissing match. Ace nine up against six four. Here's the flop. A pair of tens and a five, four flush again for Sean. And a continuation bet here by James. I call. And we saw Sean raise with the flush draw earlier to win the pot and take it away from James. James who's buying this the time he buddy. just calls. You buying him? After I win this pot, I am. Here comes Fourth Street. And a five comes off, so tens and fives out there now. James going to check it. But Sean, look at this, man. He didn't raise on the flop with the flush draw. Now there's two pair out there, and now he's betting. Yeah, 650 with the four flush. That's all he's got. I'll show you this one, James, because I feel bad for you. 
actually just wants to show ah, it to that's him because he wants them to go away, and that's exactly what's yeah. going to happen. Heart draw? No, six hearts. Remember yeah. a moment ago, James showed him a bluff. Now the table is turned. It's a six high. Rabbit He's hunt. He's showing a the bluff. Six high. <laughs> You've got the rabbit hunt. Rabbit. rabbit. They're going to take a look a at the car and look at this. Talk the to heart. me, kid. Talk to me. <laughs> wow. Sean would have made the flush to win that pot. Right, so good lay down there for Cal Guerrero. What a donkey. Say, <laughs> still doing the blinds? Still 50 and 100. <laughs> right now, on, Sean James. Kunix is higher than Charlie Your Sheen boys. in the hot air balloon. Just enjoying this great moment. Why not? You don't come around often. 275. This time James has a queen 10. He's going to move it up to 275,000. Sean with a king 10 of spades. I call. Getting very serious all of a sudden. Makes the call. Queen 10 versus king 10. And here is the flop. Let's come 4 4 3. No uh, help to either player, and it goes check, check. Turn card will be a 10. Just a beautiful card for Sean. 300. Call. He has the best hand. He has his opponent out kicked, as we Check. say. 300, quick call. Down to the river we go. And the deuce comes off. Again, Sean checks. And James got to think he's got the best hand now with 10. At least I would think so. Big bet's yeah. coming. I like that table talk. Big bet. I mean, usually wow. you don't want a big bet. How much? But this 650. is the bet. 650. Little does he know he's in a terrible place here that would be James Calderero James thinks he's got I the call. best hand right now he's wanting the guy to call you see he proudly turns King up the 10, 10, baby. but it's not good Woo! enough yeah. holy <laughs> James <laughs> oh my god that was sick James <laughs> that was sick he has kicked in officially and that's how oh, I boy. Say. <laughs> I pissed my pants on that one. I, I wasn't going to say that on TV. Uh, a little too much but... information there, but he is going good right now. He's a, he's a funny mother chicken. <laughs> yeah, James is enjoying it, even well, though he lost a big pot there. there. And as you can one see, Sean Kunix has taken well, a huge chip lead in this battle. 8.2 million to 1.3. I've seen people come back from a lot less. Well, I'm coming you back. fight, baby. I'm come, definitely coming you back. You fight. You just made this last a little longer than I wanted you to. fight. Sean Kunix was one card away from being eliminated with three players remaining. I'm all in. And look at this. Are you really? Ace eight. And I'm only got all in. Grand invested. All Let's in. see. This could do it here. Sean's got a pair of threes. How much? Count it down, baby. Can you believe it? I actually have a hand. He's got a lot of loot, though. Well, James has been whittled away. He's only got 1.2. Sean has 8.2 million. How much? Yeah. If he plays and loses this pot, he'll still have a huge chip lead. 1.3 for the championship. Son of a gun. What a whole mother chicken. I actually don't want it to end yet. Everyone in the world would call with this hand. It's embarrassing. We're on right. national TV, and I'm going to fold this for Will. No. You see these two wow. red threes? Oh, yes. shocking. Yep. Well, I'm shocking, too afraid. Considering all the hands we've seen him play yep. so far tonight. <laughs> well, Vince, I don't know if it's a liquor or the pain pills for Sean, but for a guy gambling as much as him to throw a pair away there when he can win the title, sort of surprising. Well, for years we've been telling people you don't call off your money with a yeah, little pair. Yeah, not this guy. He plays every pot. <laughs> but look at this. Sean has picked up threes again. I'm all in. And this time he moves in with them. Yeah. He's going to put the pressure on his opponent. <laughs> All right, well, I see one card. It looks pretty nice. That's a good one. It's not that good. Jack of diamonds. Wow. I see the other one. I don't even know if it's suited. I call. He is calling oh, it. Okay. I got threes oh, again. Two yeah. hands in a row. Oh, no, but you do it. <laughs> James Calderero called with Jack Ten of Diamonds. So the money could have been in the last spot with the two threes versus Come the two over cards. It wasn't, but it's Come in there on. now. James. You know what nice. to do, right? Whatever happens, James. Sean Kudix, 39 years old, the businessman from Columbus, Ohio, on the verge of taking down a WPT title. Everybody on their feet. With that. Sean wins this pot. He'll be our champion. Here we go. All right, let's see the flop. Here comes the flop. Hold your breath. A three. Oh, 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 
It is not over, though. James can catch two running diamonds to win, two runners to make a straight to win, and it could come a four and a six when they score. Eight of diamonds would be a nice card. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds is a good card. How about that? Sean folded two threes the last time. This time he's all in with them, and he flops three threes. An extreme long shot there for James. And it's a nine comes off, so it is not over. Hold the James can catch an eight to win this pot. He'll make a straight if an eight comes out there. He must catch one to stay alive. He's got a four out here. Let's see what happens. Down to the river. All right, let's see the river. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. Eight of diamonds. River. It's a oh. six. So that's going to do it. Sean Kunick from Columbus, Ohio, has done a bit. Came to the final table with Chip Leader, and he's taking the title. Oh, he's done beautifully. He dropped the threes, but he didn't, wasn't going to hit. He took the threes, took advantage. He's our champion. Congratulations. And he's over to see his father-in-law, Terry Ryan, shaking his hand, saying, Sean, you know, you made it to this final table before. You didn't do it. This time you did. And you see the emotion of Sean Kunick right there, how much this title meant to him. <laughs> Folks, those are tears of joy. He seemed pretty happy, uh, the fact that he won. Uh, maybe you guys are oh, friends. And, absolutely. Uh, I'm glad he won. I mean, it was me or him, and uh, I, I feel, you know, nothing but I'm happy he won it. I mean, of course, I wanted to win it, and I didn't. I took second, and it is what it is. All right, well, congratulations on your finish. Thank you. Mike, over to you. Thank you for everything. <laughs> okay, the Buckeye did it. Marinella, back to you.